He just started running towards me, so I fired. He still kept coming, so I fired again, and that time he hit the ground. April Evans is a mother, a gun owner, and a proud NRA member. Exactly six years ago today, she was sleeping quietly with her daughter when an invader entered her house. April, what happened next? Well, um, we were just, you know, going about our night. My husband is a police officer and he works night shifts. He was gone for work and I heard banging on the door. So I went to see, you know, maybe my neighbor needed help. Um, I wasn't sure. So I looked through the peephole and I didn't recognize him. And that was when I noticed that the door was starting to crack and I knew he was coming in the house. So uh, I had a plan in place and my plan was to call 911 and go get our gun from the bedroom. While I was getting the gun in the bedroom, I heard a crash and I thought, did I lock the door to the kitchen that goes to the garage? Because it sounded like he came into the garage. By the time I got to the middle of the end of the hallway, he was standing there looking at me and then he just started running towards me. So I fired, he still kept coming. So I fired again and that time he hit the ground and I held him there at gunpoint until the police arrived. Wow. Well, thank goodness you're okay and that your daughter is okay and that you're a responsible, smart, and prepared and practiced gun owner. Uh, Nancy yes. Pelosi, though, she wants to confiscate your guns for the children. Most important issues facing the Congress are our children, our children, our children. An, an environment in which they can thrive safely is what we are talking about today. There is no uh, any, nobody in Congress whose political survival is more important than the survival of our children. April, your reaction to those impassioned words? My child wouldn't be alive today, I firmly believe, if I had not had my gun to protect us. And she's been around guns her whole life. She knows, she knows about gun safety. We taught her from a very early age. She knows about it. We always explained it to her, showed it to her. She's not in any danger. She knows what a gun is. She knows what a gun can do. And she knows to stay away from it. And if she has questions, she finds an adult and asks the questions. It's all about training in order to keep a safe environment. Taking guns away from someone like myself, who my husband works night shift, and it's just me and her alone, how does that keep anybody safe? We both would have been dead, I'm sure. April, thank you for sharing that story tonight. Unfortunately, too many people in the United States don't hear those stories. They hear only the awful stories. Thank you. Right.